Mature people can differ in opinions based on scripting, genetics, physiological, psychological viewing. You create a paradigm in your life, an individual lens through which you see the world. When other people see the world differently than you, it doesn't make them wrong. And you write. You have your opinion and they have their opinion. This is the backbone of our society. The ability to pursue your own potential, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. The ability to get up every day and go do it. There will be opposition, there will be difference of opinions, and there will be conflict. Anybody who ever did anything big faced all of those things. How will you handle that conflict? Conflict is necessary for expansion. Each morning when you wake up, you've got two options, play to win or not play at all. If life's worth living, it's worth trying to win. It's worth working the muscle. It's worth fighting through the adversity. It's worth pushing through to get to the other side. I believe God's gift to us is our potential. And I believe our gift back to God is the activation of that potential. So let me ask you the hard question. Are you gonna play? Are you gonna play not to lose, which always guarantees losing? Or are you gonna buckle down? And are you gonna play to win? Only you can make this decision. No one can make this decision for you. If I've learned anything in 28 years of coaching, it's playing not to lose always guarantees losing. I'm Coach Michael Burt, let's go. I have a personal belief that tough times make strong people stronger and weak people weaker. You see, early in life, we developed an emotional toughness or we didn't develop that emotional toughness. When we meet adversity, our instinct kicks in. The primal instinct, the prey drive to either fight or flight, to stand up or lay down, to get up or back down. If you haven't been working the muscle, if you have not had a long obedience in the same direction, if you have not prepared for the battle in tough times, you just get weaker and weaker and weaker. I believe strong people get stronger in tough times. Now, which one are you going to be? I'm here at the Relentless Monster Producer event. It's an intimate event that is like none other I've ever attended. The small group, the stuff we were able to talk about, the interaction between the speakers and the hosts and the guests and among the guests among each other is second to none. This is something really, really special. It gives you a chance to really, really dig deep into the issues that are holding you back and things that aren't letting you be the person that you really want to be. You know, I always consider, I always like to think of myself as, you know, I'm the family member nobody wants in their family, but I'm the family member you need in your family. Well, everybody has to have that one individual in there that kind of uh, gives it to you straight. This is how it is. And we miss that. We really do. We miss the accountability. We miss having someone that tells it, like, tells it like it is. Well, the first thing I would tell you about working with Tim Grover is he's a world-class person. This is very important. His whole intention on this retreat has been to make sure that people that come to this retreat get their expectations exceeded. Write three things now down that are distracting you for you achieving your goals or whatever you want in life, whatever it may be. If there's one thing that you end up taking out of this event that hits you, you got more than your money's worth because that's where change starts. It's something you can take and you can use and make it your own. At this type of event, at the Relentless Monster Retreat event, everybody in here got something they could take that can possibly be life altering to them.